In this video, I'll show you how to create a registration page in Zoom. So that way you have one page which will collect names, email addresses, and any other questions you want to ask your audience. You can also add the Stony Brook logo and a picture of the presenter. So let's get started. To create the page, you'll need to go to the Zoom web portal, which is stonybrook.zoom.us. Click on sign in and then go to schedule a meeting. Give your meeting a good name and a really good description. Make sure it has the correct date and time and duration. Make sure registration is required and that you have the waiting room turned on, especially if you're inviting people outside the university to your event. Under options, click on show and add any alternative hosts to help with your event. Click on save. You can click on the add to Google Calendar, which will put the link directly to your meeting and not the registration page right on your calendar. And then you should add any of your alternative hosts in the guest area. Next, you can set up the branding with the logo and the presenter image. Next, if you want to add any extra questions besides name and email, you'll want to come to registration and then click on edit. Click on questions. And then here you can decide what questions you want to add and then what questions of those should be required. So I'm going to add job title, but I'm not going to make it required. And then I'm going to add my own question. And then I'm going to click on save all. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to go back to details. I'm going to click on the registration link. And now I have my logo, my presenter image, and some extra questions that I'm asking my audience. Be sure that you give this link to your audience to sign up. So you can just copy it. And then I'm just gonna test it out. Okay. Lastly, I want to show you something. If you or any of your alternative hosts seem to go to the registration page, you won't be able to log in to get into the Zoom meeting. It says host cannot register. So you really want to make sure that in the Zoom web portal, you've clicked on add to calendar. When you click on add to calendar, it gives you the direct Zoom meeting URL without the registration.